Hi there Capricorn. In this video I'm going to channel Spirit's message for you for the month of March 2018. Everything you need to know to manifest whatever it is you'd like. For those of you who are new to me, my name is Kelly Lunt and I'm a law of attraction expert. I've helped hundreds of business owners who have been living in that, that flow, that synchronistic flow of sell after sell after sell, going home to a date or going home to the happy family and you've somehow lost that flow. Whether it's been a week, a month, or a year, I help you get back into that flow. So without further ado, Capricorns, here is what Spirit would like you to know to get back into the flow or stay in the flow to keep manifesting. Capricorns, Capricorns, what we would most like you to hear this month about Law of Attraction and Manifesting is that it is 99% vibrational. It is 99% vibrational first. You guys are the goats of the Zodiac. You guys are the, the workhorses. You tend to put your nose to the grindstone and work until you get it done. And although that's led you to great results and great success, you're looking to tap into that ease and flow. You're desiring for things to just be easier. You've, you've had those experiences where it was one idea after the next, after the next, one thing getting done, after one thing getting done, after another thing getting done. And you're now open, many of you for the first time, to experience that flow in all areas of your life. You're willing for it to be easier. So in order to do that, we need, to, we need you to hear that it's vibrational. The more that you can set aside just 10 minutes a day and whatever area of, you, of your life that you'd like to experience more flow in or you'd like to manifest, attract something in, 10 minutes a day and just play the wouldn't it be nice game. If you're trying to manifest a new partner, wouldn't it be nice if he had XYZ? Wouldn't it be nice? If he and I had such a flow and a chemistry that it seemed man magnetic, wouldn't it be nice if I felt so alive, so vibrantly alive, and so comfortable in my skin around him? Wouldn't it be nice if I felt safe? Wouldn't it be nice if I just felt at home around him? Tap into those wouldn't it be nice. If you want to get back into the flow of your business, wouldn't it be nice for that next customer or that next client to find me with these. Wouldn't it be nice if it just felt like we were speaking to each other's hearts? And wouldn't it be nice if I just found like, oh, this is the best client ever. And they also thought, this is the best coach ever. Or this is the exact product I was looking for. Wouldn't it be nice if my product and my services were able to touch the homes and hearts of the people who really wanted what it is I offered? The more that you can take the 5, 10, 15 minutes a day to tap into that vibration of wouldn't it be nice, that's when your manifestations will come in with much more ease, Capricorns, and you'll have that ease and flow in life. You'll have that work-life balance that to you has seemed ever elusive. You will have it all once you tap into the vibration of it. And with that, we invite Kelly to pull two cards from that deck and one card from the other deck. Well, there you go, Capcorns. <laughs> We're being little workhorses. Um, if you guys need help with that, I'm going to open up some one-off sessions, like one-time sessions this month, especially based off that message. So if you click in the upper right-hand corner or click down below in the description, um, I'll open up some recorded videos where I'll go on some rampages for you, help you get into the vibration of what you want. Um, and I'll also open up a couple of one-off phone calls too. However I can help, so two cards. And they said one card from this deck. Okay, it's a new deck they're having me use for you guys ask. It's the Archangel Power Tarot decks by Doreen Virtue. And the Trust Your Vibes by Sanaya Sanai. How do you pronounce that? Okay, we got the Knight of Ariel. 
A night is about action. You guys hear my little dog in the background. <laughs> Okay, funny. So we got the night of Ariel, which is the material word, the daily part of living, including physical health, pursuing education and careers. Okay, and then we got eight of Gabriel to clarify it. And Gabriel's about creativity as well as well as a helpful supportive guide to accomplishing all your goals. Okay, guys, Capricorns are hammering at home. We have a lot to accomplish ahead of us, night, a lot to accomplish, a lot of action. We have, we have lofty, I mean, we're, we're Capricorns, of course we want a lot, right? So we have a lot to accomplish, and there's a lot that we want to do, but we're being helped. And the more that we can stay in the creativity of it, stay in the, I don't use the word fun, because it's more about... The more that you're open to communicate your desires, the more that you're open to like, you know, visualize it, the more that you're open to stay in the creative space of why you got into your business, who did you want to help? Um, if you're making a product, who, who are you, who was it that you were, oh my God, it's that person who just wants that gemstone tiara. It's that person who just wants to find the most perfect home for themselves. I became a realtor and want to help people, night of action. I want to take action to help people find their most perfect home because I wanted the, the people to have the perfect house in the perfect location where I took into consideration their commute to work, their commute to school for their kids, their the feng shui of the house. Did the house match the lifestyle that they wanted? Stay in that creative space of why you got into what it is you did to allow the, the, the action to have that ease and flow. Um, okay. And then this is the more vibrational tip. Cloak yourself in light. Okay, guys, so what this means is oftentimes if we ever get out of the synchronistic flow, one good way to get back in is to, I know, cliche, sit there and breathe. As you breathe in and as you breathe out, allow yourself to remember there's all this air around you that you can't necessarily see. You have, like, your tongue, your throat, your, um, your throat, your breath, Broncholis, I think I said that wrong, that go into your lungs, your lungs go into the broncholis, that then go into the aeolis, that then transfers the oxygen to the hemoglobin, the hemoglobin takes it into your blood. Do you see all of that work going on behind the scenes in your behalf? Let the universe do all of that same work for you behind the scenes to find the client. You don't need to worry, just as you don't have to worry about all of those body parts that go into you breathing. You don't need to worry about how to find the client. You just need to stay in the vibration of what it's going to be like when you find that client. What it's going to be like when you find that perfect home. What is it going to be like when you go on that awesome date? What is it going to be like when you get married? What is it going to be like when you and your husband are loving each other and raising the kids as a team unit again? Um, so you do the air one first, and then you can visualize light coming to you. Literally just visualize light coming into your body and know that just as easily, if you spend two, three minutes focusing on the air and how easy the air goes in and out of your body and how easily the sun hits you or how easily you could visualize light coming to you, it's reminding yourself that clients, work, love, harmonious relationships can be just as easy as breathing and just as easy as light as long as you stay in that creative space. All right, I love you, Capricorns. If you guys need any help with that, um, I am going to open up one-offs for the month of March. I'll do a recorded video or um, a couple of one-off sessions. So if you'd like that, I'll put a link in the upper right-hand corner, and I'll link to it below. Love you guys. Mwah. Happy manifesting.